never slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement, I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement I'm gonna learn the consequence, I'll be in it's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode episode number 56, just 24 days away from our next Universe Mode pay-per-view Survivor Series. And tonight's Thursday night main event, gonna have many Survivor Series implications as we'll decide the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship, but also coming up later tonight on main event, it is gonna be the Disciple. Buddy Murphy in his first contest is losing alongside Seth Rollins at Judgment Day. He's set to go one-on-one -on -one with the show-off. Dolph Ziggler, both these men suffering recent losses. Who's going to bounce back later tonight in our main event? And plus, the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament first round matchups conclude when Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of the way take on Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan, who is going to move on to the semifinals one step closer to Survivor Series. We're going to find out later tonight, right here on Main Event. We are kicking things off with an eight-man battle royal with huge Survivor Series implications. The following contest is an eight-man battle royal. Making his way to the ring, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. So we kick off main event tonight with an eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal with the winner Moving on to Sunday night, October the 16th at the Survivor Series. Well, they will challenge the one and only Ricochet for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Ricochet has defended the championship on multiple occasions thus far. Chad Gable is one of those recent defeats at the Judgment Day pay-per-view. But here comes a man that Ricochet has yet to face off. Could the Ricochet be in line to get hit with a hurricane come Boston in October? So far in the Cruiserweight Championship reign, the one and only Ricochet has defended successfully against Santos Escobar, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Chad Gable, as we mentioned just a few weeks ago at the Judgment Day pay-per-view, and then it was last week here on your Thursday night main event where Ricochet defended the gold against Wesley 101, and what a hell of a matchup that was. The replay available now right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. But the Hurricane making his way to the ring, a former Cruiserweight Champion in WCW as well as here in the WWE. I'm sure the Hurricane, after having a rocky few months since returning to World Wrestling Entertainment, would love to get himself an opportunity at the prestigious Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Or will it be this masked luchador, representing Lucha House Party for the first time in quite a bit? Grand Metalik is in action, a part of this eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal. Representing Lucha House Party from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Red Metalik! Well, speaking on Survivor Series, multiple matches already signed for that pay-per-view event, including the main event, Hell in a Cell matchup. It'll be contested between the Rated R Superstar and the Viper. Randy Orton and Edge, two men with a storied rivalry over the years, going to go one-on-one -on -one inside the cell for the WWE Championship. Plus, the traditional Survivor Series elimination matchup that was signed this past Monday night on Raw. The Hurt Business, in their entirety, take on AJ Styles, Matt Riddle, and the current WWE World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. And here comes your next challenger, making his main roster debut from NXT. Roderick Strong. And from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong is a former NXT North American champion as well as a former NXT champion. He has spent the majority of his WWE career, the entirety of his WWE career, down in NXT. He has been a main player. He has helped push forward the future of the franchise. But tonight is Roderick Strong's own opportunity making his main roster debut a part of this Cruiserweight Battle Royal. And I'm sure Roderick Strong would love to get his hands on some gold here in the WWE. All these men contesting for a shot at Survivor Series, but let's take a look at the current Cruiserweight Champion of the World.
shooting star press was enough. Now he's eyeing up something else. Oh my goodness! And now going back to the top rope, 630! Signed, sealed, and delivered as another Cruiserweight Championship defense made successful by the one and only. It's been a hell of a reign for Ricochet ever since winning the Cruiserweight Championship back on June the 26th at SummerSlam. All these months later, eight men get a step to the plate, but only one can move on to Sunday night, October the 16th, at our next Universe Mode pay-per-view Survivor Series. Seven men have entered as we await our next challenger, Kushida, who has been in the ring with the one and only Ricochet before, and I'm sure he would love to revisit that matchup at this time with the gold on the line. We see Wesley in there, a man who just stepped to Ricochet last week here on Main Event. Could we see a Main Event rematch coming up at Survivor Series? So many possibilities, but only one man is going to be the last man standing. And their opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 192 pounds, Kushida! Going to be a lot of action to call on this eight-man over the top rope battle royal, but again, ladies and gentlemen, still to come tonight here on Main Event, it is going to be the disciple Buddy Murphy going one-on-one -on -one with the show-off, Dolph Ziggler, plus the final first-round matchup in the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament as Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan team up against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of the way. Former NXT Women's Tag Team Champions in their own right should be a very interesting contest coming up later this evening from Austin, Texas, just 24 days away from the Survivor Series. It is time for your opening contest. Let's get down to business. Number one contenders over the top rope battle royal. Who is going to challenge Ricochet for the Cruiserweight Championship? You see the chaos already immensing your competitors in there. Isaiah Swerve Scott, Roderick Strong, Kushida, Wesley, the Hurricane, Grand Metalik, Chad Gable, and of course a former Cruiserweight Champion and Santos Escobar. One of these eight men going to be moving on to the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts, Sunday night, October the 16th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, a live premiere on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel as our next Universe Mode pay-per-view. He's had an elimination there. Kushida almost going over the top rope. And you see the men in this matchup, four men that Ricochet has already beaten. Santos Escobar, he beat him at SummerSlam for the Cruiserweight Championship, retained the gold over Escobar back in Extreme Rules in the ladder match. Defeated Isaiah Swerve Scott here on main event. Chad Gable at Judgment Day. And then Wesley here last week. So four men who I'm sure would love to get another crack at the one and only. And then on the other hand, Kushida, Hurricane, Metalik, and Strong have yet to contest for the Cruiserweight Championship in the reign of the one and only. So a lot of interesting scenarios in this eight-man battle royal. And there's your first elimination. The Hurricane clothesline and Grand Metalik up and over. Grand Metalik will not be moving on to Survivor Series. That is the danger of the over-the-top rope battle royal. You got to watch your back at any given moment. It only takes a second or two to grab you and throw you over. Two feet hit the floor, you are eliminated. Already down to seven men, and it's going to be a hell of a way to kick off your Thursday night edition of Main Event Universe Mode Episode 56. What a ride it's been. As we are on the road to the Survivor Series, Kushida almost eliminated there. Roderick Strong. What a win it could be for Roderick Strong if he comes out in his main roster debut tonight and picks up the victory, moves on to Survivor Series to challenge for the Cruiserweight Championship. Be huge for the career of Roderick Strong there. And almost had Kushida again, but Kushida hanging on. Now Santos Escobar, you're going to watch him. He's trying to eliminate the Hurricane. Remember the Hurricane Santos Escobar? Those two men got a little history. Remember when the Hurricane made his WWE return on the main event after SummerSlam? He teamed up with Isaiah Swerve Scott and the Cruiserweight Champion Ricochet in a six man tag team matchup against Legado del Fantasma. So, Hurricane Santos Escobar, no strangers to each other in that sense. Now locking horns once again in the midst of this battle royal. Chad Gable and Isaiah Swerve Scott going at it. Chad Gable again was recently. Oh, wait a minute. Wes Lee over there. Wes Lee. Somebody threw him over. He's hanging on, though. Luckily, looked like the odd number of men in this matchup kind of paid Wesley dividends there. Nobody was able to capitalize on the elimination. Wesley living to fight another moment in this battle royal. 
We were talking about Chad Gable and his matchup with Ricochet at Judgment Day. What a matchup it was! And Ricochet, or excuse me, Roderick Strong, clotheslining Kushida over the top rope. And we are down to six men. Kushida out of the number one contender battle royal. And Santos Escobar may be next to join that line. Hurricane trying to get Escobar out of here, and he does! Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar. Bit of a bad luck streak continues! And Wesley is gone as well. The body's flying everywhere. Casualties left and right in our opening contest. Just like that, Kushida eliminated by Roderick Strong. Santos Escobar eliminated by the Hurricane. And then Wesley was thrown out as well. And it kind of makes things a little bit interesting here. So we're down to, again, an even amount of competitors in this matchup. Two men that have fought Ricochet before, two men that have not. Still a question as to whether this is going to be a rematch at Survivor Series or a completely new competitor for the Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Just like that, three men getting dumped over. And now we have Roderick Strong, Chad Gable, the Hurricane, and Isaiah Swerve Scott left inside the squared circle. Roderick and Chad Gable going at it. What a one-on-one -on -one wrestling matchup that could be in the near future now that Roderick Strong has joined the main roster. And Chad Gable showcasing a little aerial offense there. Interesting takedown. Something we've seen out of Gable before, but you know, one thing we were going to mention about Chad Gable's matchup with Ricochet at Judgment Day is we really saw Gable trying to ground the one and only, and it just didn't work. Ricochet's high-flying ability was able to outlast Alpha Academy's Chad Gable on that night. But maybe if Gable gets another opportunity to come in with a different strategy, that remains to be seen, but he may be about to exit this matchup, and well, now he holds on. Roderick Strong's right there, a little bit of chaos in the corner. Gable's holding on for dear life as the Hurricane's trying his darndest to get Chad Gable out of this matchup. Gable's holding on. You gotta watch on the far side of the ring there, and he goes! Chad Gable has been eliminated. Chad Gable out of this matchup, and just like that, we are down to three. The Hurricane staying persistent with his offense there. And Alpha Academy's Gable will not be moving on to fight Ricochet. Hurricane holding on right now. Oh, and the swerve coming from behind with that super kick to Roderick Strong. And a big boot, the Hurricane gets set over the top rope. And we are down to two men, Roderick Strong and Isaiah Swerve Scott. What an elimination from the swerve. Had Hurricane in an opportune state, leaned up against the ropes, and was able to big boot him over. Swerve crashing and burning. Roderick Strong right now grabbing a hold of Isaiah Swerve Scott. Final two in this matchup. Who is going to move on to the Survivor Series to fight Ricochet for the Cruiserweight Championship? Right now, Isaiah Swerve Scott in control for the man who is once again making his main roster debut tonight, Roderick Strong. Go for a slice bread. No, Roderick Strong counters and slams him down on the canvas. This match has only been a couple of minutes, but we ha you start off the matchup with eight different bodies in there. Damage is going to build up real quick, so you had to imagine for these two men being the final two in the matchup that it feels like they're already out there 20 minutes or so. Late rounds, if you will, in the battle royal for Roderick Strong and Isaiah Swerve Scott. You aren't going to give up with this kind of opportunity. Roderick Strong had an opportunity to clothesline Swerve over the top there, but... A little bit of space elected for the STO instead. And almost throwing him over there again. And Isaiah's really taking some offense right now. The Swerve may be in trouble. Roger Strong to whip him off. And Swerve goes over the top rope. And that is it. Roderick Strong punching his ticket to the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Sunday night, October the 16th. Right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Roderick Strong will face Ricochet for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. What an elimination there at the end. Here is your winner, Strong. You want to talk about making a statement in his main roster debut, this veteran of the professional wrestling ring, Roderick Strong, showing up and showing out. And now becomes the number one contender for the man who has held the Cruiserweight Championship since back on June the 26th. And there you see it officially made, Roderick Strong versus Ricochet coming up at Survivor Series one-on-one -on -one for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World.
Let's keep the ball rolling here on Thursday night's main event. It is your final first round matchup in the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. Here comes competitor number one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. So, so far in the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament, the results go like this. Damage Control defeating Ember Moon and Shotzi. Io Shirai and Zia Lee moving on to the semifinals. Naomi and Sasha Banks picking up the victory this past Monday night on Raw with Raquel Gonzalez and Rhea Ripley. So one more spot remains in the semifinals. Is it going to be this new team of Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss, two women who were just a few weeks ago on opposing sides of the ring from each other, but seemingly through battle have gained respect and have decided to enter the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. Liv Morgan definitely has a suitable partner by her side. Alexa Bliss, a former Raw Women's Champion, a former SmackDown Women's Champion, as well as a former WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. She's also held the money in the bank in her career. Alexa Bliss has had a decorated several years in World Wrestling Entertainment for her and Liv Morgan. A win here tonight will move them on to the semifinals. And then, of course, from there, it is all about punching your ticket to Survivor Series where we will see the finals of the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament take place. Team number one set for action, and here comes the opposers. The newly reunited Candice LeRae, Indy Hartwell, The Way, is here on Thursday night, main event. Candice LeRae missed a few months of action due to injury. During that time, Indy Hartwell made her main roster debut. And the last time we saw these women was when Candice LeRae was inside of that squared circle with Io Shirai, and it was on that night. Indy Hartwell made her way down to the ring alongside LeRae and really reformed the way before our eyes. This Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament coming at an opportune time for these two women, two women that have held Tag Team Championship gold prior down at NXT several years ago. Could they be on their way to becoming Women's Tag Team Champions once again here in the WWE? You got to say, out of every team that has participated so far, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell got to have the most reps inside of that square circle and history holding gold together. So will their history pay them dividends, or will this new form team of Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan, a team that, as we mentioned, coming together through mutual respect, will that be enough to take down LeRae and Hartwell here tonight? But here we go. It is your final first round matchup of the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss versus Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae. Moving us on here on main event and still to come in moments, we're going to see the show off Dolph Ziggler back in action for the first time since his loss to the Blackheart. The new Intercontinental Champion Tommaso Ciampa several weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. He's set to go one on one with Buddy Murphy, who's coming off a loss alongside his disciple, or excuse me, his messiah, Seth freaking Rollins back at Judgment Day in a Tornado Tag Team matchup against Rob Van Dam and Jeff Hardy. It's going to be coming up in moments, but focusing on this Tag Team Championship Tournament matchup right here. Of course, as you saw this past week on Monday Night Raw, Sasha Banks back in action for the first time since the April the 11th Backlash pay-per-view. Her and Naomi teaming up Two women who have former history with each other back from Sasha Banks' first year on the main roster. They teamed up to defeat Rhea Ripley in the debuting Raquel Gonzalez. So the winners of this matchup here are going to move on to fight Naomi and Sasha Banks in the semifinals. And then of course the other semifinal matchup coming up this Monday night on Raw is going to be Bailey and Dakota Kai, also known as Damage Control, taking on Io Shirai and Xia Lee. And then of course the winners of those two semifinal matches are going to be moving on to their Survivor Series pay-per-view where we will witness the finals of the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament and new champions will be crowned at our next Universe Mode pay-per-view on Sunday night, October the 16th. All roads here in Universe Mode on Raw and main event leading to the Survivor Series and of course the following night on Monday Night Raw where the WWE brand extension is coming into play. Friday Night Smackdown coming back on the air for all of our great supporters here and the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. The Survivor Series is going to be on Sunday night, October the 16th. The WWE Draft, live on Monday Night Raw. 
going to be happening on Monday, October the 17th. Let's focus on the action inside the squared circle right now. Indy Hartwell working over Alexa Bliss, tagging in Candice LeRae, and here's where the experience of the way comes into play. Tag team offense there. Candice LeRae in this matchup for the first time, and remember, as we mentioned, her matchup against Io Shirai a number of weeks ago on main event, LeRae picking up the victory. What was her return bout after a few months off due to injury? Candice LeRae looking good right now. Got Alexa Bliss in an opportune state. Oh, but there's Alexa Bliss with the counter. And you gotta wonder, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan, they may be a new team in this division. Oh, wait a minute, Bliss go to top rope. Going for a splash there, but she crashes and burns. And I think Bliss and Liv Morgan really gotta take a page out of the Way's book and really try to hit some double team offense there. Work as a team in this first round matchup. Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan, just a few weeks ago, were on opposing ends of the ring. In a matchup against Asuka at Judgment Day, triple threat for the Women's Championship. Asuka, of course, retaining the title on that night, but seemingly through that matchup, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan gaining a mutual respect for each other. There was an open spot left in the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament, and Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan punching their ticket and joining the first round. So, Bliss and Morgan coming together, a new team. This is their chance to shine here tonight and prove they got what it takes to be future Women's Tag Team Champions. Matchup was almost over there, but Indy Hartwell breaking things up and gets sent over the top rope by the Goddess. Oh, and Alexa Bliss grabbing a hold of Candice LeRae. Look at this. Bit of a choke breaker there right on the canvas and now tagging in Liv Morgan in this contest. We've yet to see some real double team maneuvers from Morgan and Bliss, but tagging in and out here, keeping the fresh legs inside the squared circle. At least some smart offense there. Liv Morgan coming out in this matchup. And remember, Bliss and Morgan were really building some momentum for themselves in singles capacities prior to Judgment Day. And Liv Morgan especially, because she had pinned her partner here, Alexa Bliss, in a tag team matchup on Monday Night Raw prior to Judgment Day. So Liv Morgan, I believe it was uh, about 4-0 if we check the record books over her last four matches prior to Judgment Day. And then, of course, losing the triple threat match at Judgment Day, but still some solid momentum on the side of Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss. Tag made to Indy Hartwell, Candice LeRae back in here. Drop toe hold and dropping the elbow on the back of Morgan. Liv Morgan needs a tag and she needs it now, but Indy Hartwell's got Bliss right where she wants her here. Excuse me, he's got Morgan right where she wants her. You see Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae, once again, they tag team offense, paying them dividends in this matchup. Bringing the momentum to the way corner. Now Liv Morgan, speaking of being in the corner, she is up not in a good state. On the top rope, Indy Hartwell, the bigger of the competitors, looking to muscle up the opponent here. Superplex from the top rope. Liv Morgan is in deep trouble in this Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. And Alexa Bliss in there to break it up. Liv Morgan, I believe, may have got the shoulder off the canvas simultaneously there, but you see right there, Candice LeRae getting Alexa Bliss out of the ring, and that is not good for Liv Morgan. They need some fresh legs for that tag team in this matchup right now, but Bliss is down and out, and Liv may have just gotten her lights knocked out from Indy Hartwell off that DDT. Well, saved by the ropes there for Morgan. Here you go, a little chin breaker. And Alexa Bliss back in the ring while Liv Morgan making sure Indy Hartwell is the canvas. Liv needs to make a tag, but she's got Indy Hartwell on a predicament, going to the cover on Liv. Indy survives. A great tag team matchup. All the first round matches in this Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament thus far. So fun to watch, so much competition between all 16 women. Eight teams that have competed in this tournament over the last couple of weeks, and it's only gonna get better as we move towards the semifinals next week, and then of course move one step closer to the Survivor Series pay-per-view. Alexa Bliss finally in here. Liv Morgan getting the tag. Indy Hartwell swung a miss there, and it gave Alexa Bliss the opportunity to strike. Indy's down. Alexa Bliss is rolling right now. You see Indy's near that corner. Alexa Bliss, oh, she couldn't be going for the outside. I thought she might have been heading to the top rope to try to hit Twisted Bliss. Guess not just yet. Oh, and a knockout punch from Bliss right there. Maybe a good idea to go for the cover on the opponent, but Alexa has got more damage in mind. And once again, Indy Hartwell in the canvas. And a tag made to Liv Morgan. Surprising there. Liv not getting too much time to rest, but 
We hope that Liv Morgan and Bliss came out with strategy tonight and are at least trying to stick to it to the best of their capabilities. Because ever since that tag, Indy Hartwell taking the momentum back in this matchup for the way. And Indy's been in here for quite a while too. Might be a good idea. Wait a minute. Look at that side slam to Liv Morgan. And all the, all the offense Liv has taken, it adds up and Indy Hartwell picks up the win for the way. That sidewalk slam variation from Indy Hartwell after all the damage that's been done throughout this contest. Enough to get the job done. Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. They may be a new team, and they certainly got a lot to work on here tonight. And unfortunately for them, they will not be moving on to the semifinals as Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell punching their ticket and making fairly quick work if in comparison to the rest of the tournament thus far of their opponents. Well, there you see the bracket, and there you see the semifinals now set for next week on Raw and main event. Hartwell and LeRae moving on to fight Naomi and Sasha Banks in the semifinals, one step closer to Survivor Series. Well, coming up this Monday night on Raw, the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament semifinals kick off with damage control as they go 2v2 against Io Shirai and Xia Lee. And speaking of women's championships, the WWE Women's Champion Asuka, her opponent for Survivor Series, will be announced this coming Monday night on Raw. Who is next to step up to the Empress of Tomorrow? And then the main event sign for Monday Night Raw, the phenomenal AJ Styles back in action since, for the first time since Judgment Day, as he is going to go one-on-one -on -one with the Messiah of the WWE, Seth freaking Rollins. All that and more coming up this coming Monday night on Raw. But it's time for your main event here tonight. And the show off. Dolph Ziggler is in action one-on-one. -on -one. Ziggler coming off a loss to Tommaso Ciampa a number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. Can he bounce back here on Thursday night? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, Florida. Weighing in at 218 pounds. Dolph Ziggler! So Dolph Ziggler made his return to the main roster after a stint in NXT on the Raw after SummerSlam a number of months ago. Since then, he owns victories over John Morrison and Apollo Crews. But then again, as we mentioned, his most recent appearance inside of that ring, a loss to now the new Intercontinental Champion, the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa. I'm sure Ziggler would love to run it back with Tommaso Ciampa in the near future, possibly for the Intercontinental Championship. But tonight, for Dolph Ziggler, it is about bouncing back from that loss and getting back in the win column for the show-off. And we can say the same about Dolph Ziggler's opponent, that being the disciple of the Messiah, Buddy Murphy. Murphy alongside Seth freaking Rollins took a loss back on September the 10th at the Judgment Day pay-per-view. Tonight, Murphy's in singles action. Can he bring some good mojo back to this tag team right here. And his opponent, accompanied by Seth Rollins from Melbourne, Australia, weighing in at 213 pounds, Murphy! Well, where are Seth Rollins and Murphy gonna lie on the Raw After Survivor Series Monday night, October the 17th? Friday Night SmackDown is coming back your way, and the WWE Draft is gonna create a new look for Raw and a new look for Friday Night SmackDown. What a week it is gonna be at Survivor Series on Sunday, October 16th, then just 24 hours later on Monday Night Raw for the WWE Draft, and then that coming Friday will be the initial Friday Night SmackDown. October gonna be a huge month, really gonna shake up the landscape of this universe mode, but as we get set for our main event, there he is, Seth freaking Rollins. You would think Rollins is about to compete inside of the ring, stealing the spotlight as always, but no, it is his disciple Murphy by his side. Murphy has a recent victory about a month and change ago over the hurricane, but also the last time we saw Murphy in singles action was about a month ago as well on Monday Night Raw when he took a loss to Rob Van Dam. 
So things have not been going well for neither the Disciple nor the Messiah. So it's up to Buddy Murphy tonight to try to bring some good mojo, as we mentioned, back to his group. But here we go with your Thursday night main event. Dolph Ziggler, Buddy Murphy, one-on-one -on -one here from Austin, Texas. Murphy immediately going for the cover off that snap suplex. Ziggler's obviously got a lot of fight in him. And what a night has been already here on Thursday night's main event. Roderick Strong overcoming seven other men. He punched his ticket to the Survivor Series pay-per-view. On his first night on the main roster, Roderick Strong earning a Cruiserweight Championship opportunity. We'll go one-on-one -on -one with Ricochet on October the 16th. And of course, moments ago, the final first round matchup in the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. The way Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell pick up the victory over Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. So they are on their way to the semifinals. They will face Naomi and Sasha Banks next week here on your Thursday night main event. Let's continue on with the action inside of the squared circle right now. Dolph Ziggler, Murphy one-on-one. -on -one. Seth Rollins watching the ringside. Ziggler's going to have to keep his eye on the Monday Night Messiah. Meanwhile, Ziggler's on top. Not something we see him do too often. But Ziggler throwing caution in the wind. All in the means of trying to get that W tonight. Big time crossbody to Murphy. Dolph Ziggler's had a decorated career in the WWE. As we mentioned, he's still kind of fresh, freshly back here on the main roster. It's been a couple of months since his return the night after SummerSlam, but he's only had a handful of matches. Ziggler spent the majority of 2022 working down in NXT with a lot of the future stars of the WWE that I'm sure we are going to see here on the main roster in the coming months and the coming years. But Dolph Ziggler made his return in the role after SummerSlam, picked up a win over a longtime friend and rival, John Morrison picked up another victory over Apollo Crews as well. And then a little bit of bad luck struck Dolph Ziggler in that matchup with Tommaso Ciampa. So for Ziggler tonight, it's about getting that third victory since making his return and making sure the scales don't even out to two wins, two losses for Dolph. But for Murphy, you know, we've talked about this in the past. Murphy's got all the tools to be a success on his own, and we question why he has aligned himself once again with Seth Rollins, but we also have mentioned the reason Murphy's even in the ring right now, being let go by the WWE over a year ago. Seth Rollins was the one who brought Murphy back into the fold, aligning himself with the Disciple again, and Murphy going for that corkscrew, but Ziggler had it scouted. But Murphy, throughout his career, has been an NXT Tag Team Champion. He's been a WWE Tag Team Champion. He also had a pretty lengthy reign with the Cruiserweight Championship. So Murphy's got all the tools inside of the ring, but continues to align himself with that man, Seth Rollins, who better watch putting his hands on Dolph Ziggler, because that could lead to a disqualification for Buddy Murphy. Not for nothing, but you want to talk about Seth Rollins. That's a man who has been plagued time after time with bad luck over the last couple of months. I mean... Really fought through the spring and the summer. And a big rivalry with Mustafa Ali that culminated back on June 26th at SummerSlam. Where Seth Rollins took a loss to Mustafa Ali inside a steel cage. And then Rollins really hasn't been able to put things together ever since. He lost to the returning Rob Van Dam back at Extreme Rules. And then as we've mentioned, Rollins and Murphy losing in a tag team bout to Jeff Hardy and Rob Van Dam back at Judgment Day. And a chaotic, no disqualifications, tornado tag team matchup. So Seth Rollins, you can talk about Murphy, but Seth Rollins himself has been featured on a lot of bad luck as of late. So a lot riding on this matchup when it comes to the momentum of both superstars, Rollins included. It could potentially lead to future championship opportunities here in the WWE. We talk about it all the time. Wins and losses matter, especially when you want to get those main events, when you want a main event Monday Night Raw, when you want to get those championship opportunities, when you want to be on the pay-per-views. It's all about getting the job done from bell to bell. That's what Murphy and Ziggler are trying to do here tonight. And Murphy looking real good off that elbow. Credit where it's due. Murphy bringing Ziggler to his feet. Gotta wonder what's running through the Disciples' head here tonight. He knows all the bad luck that has plagued himself and Seth Rollins over the last couple of months. A lot riding on the shoulders of the Disciple Buddy Murphy here in Austin, Texas tonight. Right now he's got Dolph Ziggler in a predicament. Murphy probably the stronger of the two. Superplex from the top rope. And that's a maneuver that we see not usually put competitors away, but definitely a maneuver that is going to do some damage in the long run of this matchup. And Murphy following it up with a splash from the top rope. Goes into the cover. Dolph gets the shoulder up. 
Buddy Murphy knows how to take it to the sky. As we mentioned, had a lengthy reign at the Cruiserweight Championship a number of years ago. He knows how to get it done by himself inside of that ring. And may have just knocked Dolph Ziggler's lights out with that knee. And you see Ziggler barely able to lift the shoulder off the canvas there. Dolph still in this fight. Yeah. Murphy's really been in control these last number of minutes. Seth Rollins got to like what he sees at ringside. And oh, spoke too soon. Ziggler getting the boots up. And Buddy Murphy there. Ziggler's got a hit and run while he can. But look at this. And a Pele kick from Dolph. Not something we usually see out of the show-off's arsenal. Any means necessary for Dol by Dolph Ziggler tonight, excuse us, to get the victory. And Murphy, what a counter, what a vicious pump kick right to the noggin of Dolph Ziggler. And that might be a knockout blow if Dolph isn't careful, but Murphy's still got more damage in mind off the snapmare. Big time move by the Disciple there, but he can't put Dolph Ziggler away yet. But all these maneuvers definitely going to add up in the later rounds of this contest. You see Dolph's trying to stay in at any means necessary here. Going to go back to some of his roots. Nice easy grapple to take Murphy down, and he follows it up with a super kick out of nowhere. And Murphy able to get the shoulder up, and you got to believe if Murphy had, has more damage on him throughout this contest, if Ziggler was more involved, that would have put him away. But maybe this will. One super kick didn't do it, but maybe a second one will. He tuned up the man on that one. The show off into the cover again. Oh, and Murphy gets the shoulder up. Dolph Ziggler's got to be shocked. Two super kicks, not enough to put the disciple away. And you see Buddy Murphy still got life in him. Kick up, but Ziggler's unloading right now. What a hell of a matchup we got between Dolph Ziggler and Buddy Murphy tonight. Two men with something to prove and opportunities to gain. All about getting your hand raised inside the squared circle here on your Thursday night edition of Main Event WWE 2K22. Universe Mode Episode 56. We are 24 days away from our next Universe Mode Pay-Per-View Survivor Series. And I'm sure all three of these men, that includes Seth Rollins, would love to be featured on the card in TD Garden in Boston. And Ziggler coming for the top with the elbow. And crashing in Burns. Murphy getting out of the way, avoiding disaster right there. Sure, Murphy, which is this is a tag team matchup right now, and he could tag out to Seth Rollins to get a, some fresh legs, but Ziggler's dazed. Murphy's got something in mind. Two pink and heel over the top rope. The best kept secret of the WWE, Buddy Murphy, showing out tonight in this performance against Dolph Ziggler. You gotta give credit where it's due. You might not like the fact that Buddy Murphy hangs around Seth Rollins. You might not like how the disciple carries himself, but you cannot knock the credit and the in-ring ability of that man, Buddy Murphy. Any means necessary being showcased tonight by the Disciple. Five. Dolph Ziggler is down and out. Murphy could easily get the count out victory if he wanted, but he's got something else in mind. Continuing to bring the fight to the show off and again going for the crossbody that time. Dolph Ziggler getting out of the way and that could have really spelled disaster for Dolph Ziggler. He would have got his ribs crushed between Murphy, the bigger competitor on the floor of this arena. But Ziggler, man, he cannot mount some offense. He got those super kicks in that really kind of stretched out the momentum in this matchup. But Buddy Murphy got right back into this. And Dolph Ziggler, sense of urgency in the show off right now. Trying to get the momentum back on his side in your main event affair tonight. Ziggler heading back into the ring. He could be looking for a count-out victory. Or nonetheless, just trying to catch a breathing for a moment after taking some offense. Ziggler better watch. Seth Rollins is right there. Dolph Ziggler better pay attention. Murphy again taking it to the air. I think Ziggler, after walking by Seth Rollins, was keeping a back eye on the Messiah. And Murphy took advantage. Oh, no. And now a power bomb on the outside of the ring. Count of four, and Dolph Ziggler, you might be able to count to 30, because I don't think there's any getting up from that offense from that man, Buddy Murphy. Somehow the show off is stirring at ringside. Count of six right now, but Dolph Ziggler better get in there while he can. And Murphy's going to be walking away with his hand raised here tonight in Austin, Texas. Ziggler back in here. He sees throwing shots any means necessary. 
Grabbing right, a hold of Murphy, sending him into the corner. What a main event battle this has been between Dolph Ziggler and Buddy Murphy here tonight on your Thursday night edition of Main Event. Murphy in a predicament right now. Ziggler sending him for a ride on the canvas. Nice move by the show off. And now a shot to the back. And, you know, Murphy's hit a couple dives throughout this matchup. But wait a minute, Ziggler going for a submission hold here. Murphy's got to reach out for the ropes. But the pain is, is wrenching in. Oh, Murphy taps out. Buddy Murphy tapping out to a surprising submission hold. I think, as I was about to mention, Murphy may have done some damage to himself throughout this contest on this high-risk maneuvers. Ziggler had the right submission in the right place at the right time. Dolph Ziggler gets the win. I'm, I'm surprised to see it. And Mur Murphy's shaking the hand of the show-off. Well, that is very shocking to see. But ladies and gentlemen, your next episode of Universe Mode this Monday night will feature the Messiah, Seth freaking Rollins, trying to get the momentum back versus AJ Styles. And then, of course, the semifinals of the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament kick off when Bailey and Dakota Kai go up against Io Shirai and Zia Lee. There's matches and more coming up this Monday. Whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute. Seth freaking Rollins! Rollins is attacking Murphy! What the hell is going on? Ziggler has left ringside. And Rollins has snapped on his disciple. And you had to feel the fever pitch was coming. Murphy didn't get the job done tonight. And I think that handshake might have sent Seth Rollins over the edge. You have got to be kidding me. Rollins is sticking it to Murphy again. He brought Murphy back to the WWE to be under his wing. Rollins can't handle the pressure of the losses and is snapped once again at a curb stomp. Oh, no. Rollins, an absolutely unnecessary assault here. You couldn't have worked it out in the back. You had to deal with it in the ring. Curb stomp number two. A sickening display by the Monday Night Messiah on Thursday Night Main Event. I don't think there's any going back from this. And Wait a minute, Rollins, you already hit two curb stomps. You don't need to hit a third. Oh, come on. Rollins hitting the ropes and a third curb stomp to now his former disciple. Seth Rollins sending a message that the Messiah is on his own. Once again, a sickening display after an incredible main event matchup. You hate to see it. Game face on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Don't need no cap. I'm a rock.